Dread Jack Nicol Nicholas Roush played. You mm -hmm. have a hybrid version between the That's two. Right. Yep. Uh, what led you to this decision? Uh, well, last night I decided I wanted to play <laughs> Merfolk. <laughs> <laughs> As all great stories start. So, yeah, uh, we just sort of threw this together. Uh, part of the problem uh, that Dredge faces is mental misstep, and that's basically why LED less Dredge kind of died out, I think. Uh, and that's why people want to have mentalist Dredge. Uh, the problem with mentalist Dredge is it dies to hate and lots of problems. So we made a hybrid, and it seemed to work. Uh, you made this last night? Yeah. Ah, that's very impressive. We were talking about the mental misstep thing. Like, that is a good reason to play this kind of list. Mm -hmm. uh, and you'd be surprised some people don't realize that uh, I'm going to be DDing the whole time. So they actually elect to play game two. Right, well, that was actually something that we, we, we talked about uh, during, during the top eight. You, your, your, your opponents, they, they, they chose to play. And you must have just been like, sweet. No <laughs> doubt, yeah. <laughs> Whereas, like, uh, a, a few players, like, uh, they, they actually understood what was happening. And they knew they would time walk me if they made me play. Mm -hmm. So. Well, I, I had a chance to watch uh, a little bit of your match against Jerry Thompson. Yeah. And you know, he, he, he chose to let you go first. And mm -hmm. then he, he would, he kept his thought seizures. He was thought seizing you just kept to make you discard your, oh, just to goodness. make you discard cards that weren't dredge cards. Yeah. <laughs> so you're sitting there, go, go, <laughs> yeah. go. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this deck is a little slower than uh, uh, some of the options uh, out there because you don't have the turn <coughs> one outlet sometimes. You do have to take a turn to discard. But uh, it works out pretty pretty well for you. A question a lot of people on Twitter were asking is why don't you have a main deck reanimation target? And Brian and I talked quite a bit about this, but let's get it from uh, the horse's mouth why you don't right. have you know like an Iona or an Elishnorn or something in the main deck. Uh, in my experience, Dread Return targets in the main uh, are essentially win more. Uh, you should be able to clear their hand with the wall therapy and. Uh, Dread Return a really big Grave Troll, and that should be plenty. I mean, I did. I did actually do Stinkweed Imp a few times to stay alive. <laughs> uh, uh, Jerry Thompson was one of the times I actually did it. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that uh, main deck Dread Return targets make sense for like the Mantalus Dredge, where you want to chain your Sphinxes into a Flame Kinzel and just win on the spot right there. But if you're not really playing combo and you're just going to be grinding people out, you don't want that. It actually lowers your consistency. You'd rather have any of these other cards. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I mean, how about, so you built this last night, and we were looking at, we were looking at the list where we felt it was very refined, like, <laughs> a, a lot of things that just make sense, like, the mental misstep thing was very intelligent, I think, in deck design, um, but now that you play this in a tournament, actually, right. what would you change going forward? I actually felt that the Dread Return targets in the sideboard were very weak. Uh, I, I, I really didn't use them. I don't like them. I'm not sure what I would change, honestly. Mm -hmm. So that, that's probably the best answer. It's, I it's can often give. difficult to come out of a tournament that you won and be like, "Well, these are all the major problems with my deck." I don't have <laughs> enough practice with the deck to say sure. much. You know, uh, I mean, I have a lot of practice with dredge, but okay. uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure. Which kind of dredge do you normally play? Manalists or traditional? Uh, I, I play them all, but I think I prefer LED lists. Yeah. With like deep analysis, Lim can sell it. Uh, uh, no. LED less. Oh, LED less. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sure. And But this is your new preferred list, I think, for clear reasons. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's true. Dredge is like a very compact monster, and you know, you have to play so many of these <coughs> cards, you don't really have a lot of flexibility with moving right. around. Were you happy with your mana base, uh, the way that worked out? was fantastic. We actually sort of agonized last night about how to do this. We kind of wanted to take Cephalid Coliseum out, surprisingly, but... Wow. Uh, we put it back in. The nice part is that we've got a lot of draw spells, so it's actually fast. You do win on turn three pretty often with this deck. Uh, and uh, part of the thing is you have to be able to survive graveyard hate. And so if they relic your board, it's nice to actually have careful study or uh, breakthrough, for example, to to bring it back. And you have to have a mana base to be able to do that. Yeah, I mean. Uh we were actually talking that the, one of the one of the, the cards that seemed like a big incentive to to actually play land in your strike deck was the Cephalid Coliseum, just how powerful they were right. going to be over the course of those games we were watching. It, it's it's especially good in certain matches, in others it's you know so so, mm -hmm. but that's okay. That's normal. One of the things that I say Feldman's list 
talked about where he wrote his you know, Jedi Dredge Primer, talked about the deck quite a bit. He uh, totally cut cards like Ancient Grudge, Ray of Revelation, Nature's Claim. You have those in here. Do you feel like they are necessary to a Dredge list? or Because without them, can you can almost go, you can probably cut maybe some of the like City of Brasses or Terrence Shittles to build you damage and go for a different route. So do you feel these cards are important to your strategy overall? Were they good for you today? Yeah, it's interesting. I'm, I'm a mod on the source. I'm uh, Farik, and uh, I've actually discussed this issue with him. Uh, <laughs> And I, I think he actually eventually might have come around to uh, my point of view here, and that you really have to have answers to so many things, uh, whether it's moat or uh, ley lines, which I played uh, Sam, my opponent, yeah, in the quarterfinals. I played him twice today, and uh, it was just vital to have against ley line. It was important against deed, uh, wheel was important, mm -hmm. uh, and Ancient Grudge were crazy good all day because I saw so much Stoneforge Mystic. Mm -hmm. And so people are often citing in things like Relic and Crypt, and I'm also able to hit things like Batter Skull, which allow them to stabilize, and I really want to stop that. I mean, it seems like uh, being able to deal with a Battle Skull seems like a huge deal, because Batter Skull mm -hmm. not only can can you know, preserve their life total and uh, and, and let them uh, you know, hold off your army of zombies, but can kill your bridges as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. In fact, that was one of the neat tricks that happened uh, my opponent Sam did. You in, on the stack. Uh, he had five mana and SFM and a batter skull, and I had tons of bridges. And he was able just to uh, return the batter skull, kill the germ, wipe my bridges, put it back in the play. Jeez, yeah. it was very nice. <laughs> yeah. So, so you, you were happy with, with all those? You wouldn't cut down on anything like that? No, mainly fact, it was the I reanimation might, targets. I might like. put more in, more rares. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really don't use the others. I, I flamekin zealot. I, if, if I face things like tendrils. I would have to have this. Uh, Elish Norn would be nice for the mayor, for pretty much any tribal deck. Uh, Chosen and Iona for burn, and Chosen especially for zoo. Angel Despair is sort of this catch-all if I right. met stacks or anything. So mm, I, I had it there just in case. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. So the next list of yours we're going we're gonna to see is like for Ancient Grudge, for Ray Revelation, for Nature's Claim, <laughs> for Nat the Three Naturalized. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't I don't know how to do it. I uh, hate the haters. Yeah. I, I probably <laughs> I I'm, I'm really thinking considering Zealot for another race. What I do? Did uh you try Winds of Change at all? That was another card Feldman proposed that uh, was very good for him against the Storm deck. Maybe Storm that, has died down because is that of, the red card? That's the red card. Everyone shuffles their hand back in and draws that many cards against the right. the combo decks. It both speeds you up because you continue to dredge and also dismantles their hand that's so carefully assembled. Yeah, it's an interesting card. Um, I prefer my draw spells to be blue, if possible, because uh, otherwise you really only have uh, your land base minus four Cephalid Coliseum <laughs> to cast mm -hmm. it, and right. you, you really want blue yeah, draw spells. Sense. You only have nine nine spells or land to cast right. red spells. Yeah. So. Fair enough. Well, any uh, if someone out there wants to play this deck, any words of advice you give to them? Uh, I, I normally I think would say play test, play test, play test, but right. uh, you know. Oh, well, I, I don't. I don't have any advice. Just I would say play test. I mean, I have no idea how to improve it. I'm sure other people go to go to the source and sure, talk yeah. to you about it if you need anything. Yeah. Of course. All right. Well, hey, it was great time with you, Mike. Yeah. Congratulations so much thank today. You. Very well done. Yeah, Congratulations. And uh, we will hopefully be seeing you around at more opens. We'll be coming out to more of these. Uh, no, I was lucky to come today. <laughs> oh, fair enough. <laughs> Well, uh, you're lucky to come today, and you managed to win. No doubt, yeah. So it worked you. out. All right, well, it was yeah. great having you in the booth, M Mike. Uh, congratulations again, and hopefully see you around at some event in, in the future. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. take care. Thank you.